I am the first pastor in the history of the United States to be crucified and vilified because one of my members just might turn this mother out, turn the tables on white supremacy and have a black woman sleeping legally at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue when you do what the Lord says do. In March of 2008, America got a shocking introduction to Senator Obama's judgment about the choice of a pastor, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr. But when the volatile footage flooded the evening news and the internet, Reverend Wright became a political disaster. The Obama hype machine went into furious action, culminating in what supporters called an historic moment in U.S. race relations. If all that I knew of Reverend Wright were the snippets of those sermons that have run in an endless loop on the television sets and YouTube, there is no doubt that I would react in much the same way. And if you really listen to, to what he's saying in this speech, there was no maturity, uh, no character, no saying, dealing straight ahead with the real question here. Which was, what the hell were you doing in the church? Why'd you bring your kids there? Holy smokes, this guy's awful. You know, why would you subject your children to this? It's, in my view, it was a moral test. I mean, it's, you know, anybody can talk a good game, but if it comes right down to it, and if someone you love and admire does something appalling again and again and again, are you gonna stand up and be counted or not? That's the question, and he never answered.